Hello Krakka people, this is Mary from Krakka Vlog, and in this video I will show you how to set up a repeater field in Jetform Builder. Before we begin, we noticed that only every third person who watches our videos subscribe to this channel. We want to learn more people about Krakka Vlog, so please subscribe to the channel, give a like to this video, as well as share in the comments your experience of using the repeater. Watch the video to the end to see the result. The repeater type meta field is intended for adding recurrent nested meta fields. This type will add the repeating content block for every post, product, user, which can be later filled with value in the WordPress dashboard. Let's look at a few examples of its use. The first example of using the repeater in the user profile to select several skills. You can also use the repeater to add information about the user education. Most often, the repeater is used in posts. You can show which cities will be in the tour, as well as describe in details each day and display it in accordion. Let's take a closer look at the last two options. First, you need to configure the repeater in custom post type. For this, you need to go to Jet Engine, Post Types, and select or create the desired type. I have a ready made post type for tours with prepared fields such as number field for price, checkbox with options a lot of text fields. These fields will help me to describe information about the tour in detail. Gallery field for tour images and two repeaters. The first repeater is responsible for the places that will be included in the tour. In the repeater I use media field for image and text for the description. After it I have another specific field for additional options and two text fields for video and tour plan. The second repeater is for detailed description of each day of the tour. For this I will use two specific fields. You can add any meta field to the repeater or to your post type. Don't forget to save your settings. When everything is ready, you need to create a form. For this go to Jetform Builder, add a new one. Give your form a name. By default, there is a welcome block with ready-made form presets. You can remove it if you want to create the form yourself. Since I need separate fields for my post tab, I will remove this block and add my own fields. First, I need to add a text field for the post title, a number field for the price, a text field for the tour duration, a media field for the gallery, two text area fields, as well as two repeater fields, and a submit button. Since the repeater is a block with inserted fields, we need to add more fields inside it. To do this, we need to select the block itself and click on the plus button. The field tab in the form should be the same as in the post type settings, so the first repeater will have media and text fields and the second repeater will have two specific fields. After we have added all fields, we need to give them a name. By default, the field has a name, but it should be unique for each field. If we write label, it will be automatically added to the field name. The first field will be called tour title and the name is created by itself. So we need to name other fields as well. We can do it directly in the block with the field as on the video. It's important to remember that for the repeater field, the name, not the label, must be the same as the name in the post type other meta fields it's not necessary. In order to get the field name, we need to go back to the post type settings in the dashboard and open the required meta field. The label can be different from the field name. Let's see what's happened if I copy the label into the form. As you can see, the name of the form and in the meta field is different, so be careful when adding the label to the field. Add a name to each form field. Since we have media fields, they are needed in additional settings that the picture will be saved. Therefore, I will configure both fields that an image can be added by any registered user as well as media value on the site should be saved as an ID. The last step is to customize the form submit actions to save the data in the custom post type. I will use the insert update post. If we need additional actions, feel free to add them. In the action itself, I need to select the post type where I will add a new post the status of the post, as well as link the fields in the form to the fields in the post. For the title field, I need to select post title tag. And for the meta fields, I need to select the post meta tag. 
Type the name of the meta field in the empty field. The name can be taken in the post type settings. Since I didn't give some of the repeater fields a label in the output, I can see their name, which is the same as in the settings, so I can copy the name right here. Don't forget to publish the form. When the form is ready to use, need to create a new page or use it wherever you need. I create a new page with the title Add a new tour, publish the page and click Edit with Elementor. To add a form to the page, search for the Jet Form widget and drag and drop it on the page. Select the form to create a tour and save the settings. Let's go check out how the form works. Fill in all the fields in the form with the content. I will create a four days tour of Ukraine. In this tour, I want to include Kiev, Lviv, and Karpaty. Add several repeaters and click the Submit button. You can see how the form has been successfully submitted. Let's see the result in the post. Go back to the WordPress dashboard, click on the post tab in the panel, and open the last post. As you can see, all the data from the form is saved in the meta fields. Congratulations! Now you know how to create a form with a repeater. Let us know in the comments if this video was useful to you. As well as don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers!